So there's a lot of websites out there that do this steampunk thing on. Uh, steampunk hats and costumes and goggles. Goggles is a big thing for it, but so is the hat. And there's a lot of uh, YouTube pages out there that I was looking at that make hats out of craft foam, out of sheet that's, uh, this is what, quarter inch thick, 12 inches by 18 inch sheet of, and, uh, well here, let me just show you how I do it. Craft foam, it's like a buck 30 for a sheet of that stuff. And two sheets, you can actually build an entire hat. In fact, there's one that I just made. And it fits. So, um, I made it out of, like I said, two sheets of craft foam. Um, some leather cord had for other craft projects around here that's I don't know whatever diameter you can use really whatever you want and I went over to the Goodwill and two dollars bought a tie so and black paint of course so all said and done I say I probably got about five or six bucks into this thing and uh, a couple of days of time mainly it took me one day to put it together and then let all the glue set up and then a day for painting and then just doing my finishing touches on it like uh, cutting the tie for the band stitching the lacing in there which I thought was just kind of cool I will show you not only how I made it but uh, there's a lot of sites that when they do these hats they say there's a pattern for it and give you a link for the pattern and then they charge you six seven eight bucks for it so here's what I did you can buy this craft wire, which is kind of a thin, fairly flexible ribbon. I don't know really what it's used for, but for me, it was great for making a ring that was the size of my head. I made a great template right there. Uh, hockey tape, by the way. Yes, this is the tape they use for wrapping hockey sticks. Super sticky stuff, really strong and inexpensive as well. Made the band, got it cut and to the shape of my head. And I used that, I just laid it out on a sheet of the foam to trace for the center. Added three inches all the way around the outside to make the brim of my hat. The center part that got cut out became the top of the hat. That's the easy part. The part that is more difficult is the flare. And uh, there's some sites that give you all kinds of different things, but my basic, idea was figuring the diameter of my head is about 22 inches so I cut 10 pieces that are two and a half yeah two and a half inches wide yeah two so two and a half inches wide and I cut them to be eight inches long and uh, this by the way piece of plastic from another project uh, when I made a tablet holder for my so that made the tablet holder for the controller for my drone. You'll uh, see that in my other DIY videos. But this made a great pattern piece. So I cut it to that two and a half inches wide, eight inches long, and then I measured in half an inch from each end to give me a piece that was flat. And then found my center, which you probably can't see it, but there's a score mark right there for the center. So I knew exactly dead center in this. And then I only went in an eighth of an inch on each side so each piece is a quarter of an inch narrower in the center than it is on the ends so that quarter inch may not seem like much it's probably barely noticeable unless I put a ruler up to it and you can see just a tiny tiny bit um, because think about it that's a quarter inch for each piece so with ten pieces that's two and a half inches narrower so it's that much narrower in the middle than it is the top and the bottom. 